<clears throat> Hello. I thought what I'd do in this tutorial is another pretty quick one, because like, I have been a bit pressed for time recently. Uh, I would do carry on in my terminal series and do something dead simple, do a holotape terminal. Well, a terminal holotape, so it's a holotape that you can plug into a terminal and then it will run, you know, whatever the thing is. So, you know, like, um, well, like any any kind of holotape, you know, like when you pick up people's diaries and things like that and you can shove them into your Pip-Boy and look at it. So, the first thing we're going to do is actually we're going to go to the terminal menu. And we're going to want to create a sub-menu. Now, we can duplicate uh, any terminal. In fact, we don't even need to duplicate one because a sub-menu doesn't need to have uh, a model. So, we can just right-click new and create our own um, sub-menu. So, I'm just going to call it holotape tutorial menu. And we're going to give it a tutorial holotape. And the welcome text, which will be what you'll see at the top when you boot up, will say, Welcome to the tutorial holotape. That's the header text, actually. It's put by in the welcome text. And then the header text will be the header text is the thing that's at the very top. So let's do this tutorial holotape. That's all like cosmetic stuff, none of it matters. And from here, it's basically it's exactly the same as creating any old, you know, a regular terminal like I did in my uh, tutorial a few days ago. So I'm just going to right click new and we're going to just do something basic that will show a response text. So, um, tutorial holotape menu. And I'll get it to display some text. You've accessed the tutorial holotape. That was nice and easy. And now we're going to hit OK. It's just off my screen there. Save it. So now we're going to want to travel up to holotapes which has its own uh, thing, item holotape. And again, the b easiest way to do this is to just duplicate any old holotape so it'll have this, so it'll have its model. I'll duplicate common holotape and give it a unique ID. So let's call it tutorial holotape and give it a name tutorial holotape. And now we'll see if he's got type sound voice program terminal. We're going to hit the terminal type and we're we'll going to, from this drop down menu, search for the thing we made before, which I think I called Holotape Tutorial Menu. So that's the name of the terminal menu we made before. And hit OK. And yes, we want to create a new form. So I'm just going to lock that up. And now all we've got to do is click and drag it into the world. It's uh, it's pretty, it's actually done from there. We're just going to make it collectible for the player. So I'm going to find uh, a suitable cell. Okay, so I've come to the Pridwin to demonstrate this because I know this terminal can hold holotapes because I've done it in another one of my mods I'm making. So I'm going to just click and drag it into the world here and there the little holotapes appeared and we just put it somewhere suitable. So now the player will be able to come and pick up this holotape. Let's position it like that. There you go. And you can see it's our tutorial holotape. And it's just on check respawn so it doesn't, you know. It doesn't come back when the cell resets. I don't know if a prudent cell resets anyway, but, you know, may as well. So that's all really all we have to do. I'm going to go into the game and demonstrate that working. Uh, apologies for the short tutorial. I really have been quite pressed for time, so I haven't had time to sort of figure out any complex things or the time to make a more complex tutorial. But I think what I'm going to do is sort of take a break from it over the weekend and won't not upload anything on Saturday and Sunday, but instead take that time to, like, to really get something decent so I can do something, you know, some sort of better ones during the week. Anyway, let's hop into the game now. Okay, so we're on board the Pridwin and we're going to go and get our holotape. There it is, tutorial holotape. Uh, I'll take it and we'll load it right up into here. So now we can just do load holotape and we're going to look for tutorial holotape. There we go. Tutorial holotape, and it still says outgoing mail system use responsibly because we're in this terminal. Tutorial holotape menu, you've accessed the tutorial holotape, that was nice and easy. And we can go back, we can go back, tutorial holotape added. And I wonder, we should be able to play it in the pit boy as well. I'm a little bit annoyed at the moment because uh, when I loaded this up I discovered I'd accidentally played my survival character with one of these tutorial mods enabled, and now his save is uh, marked with a little mod. So, uh, Fuck Bethesda for doing that. Uh, I'm gonna have to replay it. It's only about only lost about an hour's progress. It doesn't really matter. Tutorial holotape. 
and we can see the headers we made uh, properly now that we're in a different terminal. And there you go, look, it works in the Pip-Boy as well. So that is how that was done. Only a simple one, like I said, because I'm a little bit pressed for time at the moment, but uh, hopefully that was useful. Uh, thank you for watching, and goodbye.